What's up everybody? Jake and Jeremy here today. Memorial Day weekend. This is Saturday. Well, just had one on the line, but sped it out. We're starting here with a little Ned rig. Uh, this is a Guggen Squad Ned rig. It's just a little weighted head with a worm that stands up like this. So what we do is we pop it up in the air and it just keeps bouncing up and down like that. And it is one of the most widely known to be successful baits to use for bass. Um, the only issue is, is it's a smaller profile. So the fish that you catch are usually going to be smaller. But if you're having a hard day and you can't catch anything, or you're like me and you just want to get your day started with a couple catches, build that confidence up, start with the Ned Rig, man, because it will get you bites. There is no doubt about it. It's, not, it's definitely not the funnest thing in the world to use, nor is it my favorite. But for whatever reason, it is my most successful. And uh, I suggest what you do, if you, if you do use the Ned Rig, put it on a spinning rod. And then uh, what you want to do is get some high-vis braid. This is 40 pound with a 10 pound monofilament leader. That allows you to see the line moving because that's most of the time that's how you're going to know the fish has it is it, it'll just start swimming with it that's a lot of fun all right peeps moving down the lake a little bit no action down there but i did just see some bass up along the bank so that's good news uh we're gonna be using this curled ad looking um square bow crankbait along with a uh curled ad colored Spinner bait, which I got down here. And uh, hopefully we can snag them on one of these things. This is the time where I caught the big one last year was they were literally in the shallows along this bank. So now was the time. It is 510 right now. So between six and eight is when I expect the uh, most activity. We'll see how it goes. So with the spinner bait, I don't really throw it vertically out uh, into the pond. I kind of throw it horizontal along the bank line. Uh, that's typically what's going to catch their eye the most. And I also want to get someone who's right up there to bite. And spinner baits are pretty much perfect for that. But it is, you know, less than two feet. So I basically got to start reeling in as soon as it hits the water. But that's what I want to do anyways, just because I don't want to make a big splash and then scare the fish away. My luck today is absolutely terrible. I just had one on here, another one. I don't know how he comes off of a uh, crankbait with treble hooks, but he did. It's crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. What in the world? At least we know the square bill will work. We will keep on trying that. And of course, he's probably long gone by now. Only got one on the old chatterbait. Oh yeah, come here, big guy. Hang on, 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 hang on. Hang on. Ooh, that's a decent one. Hang on, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Dang, his lip is like busted. Oh gosh. Hey, this guy's jaw is like broke. Oh. Ah, come on, man. You do it. Ah, motherfucker. Don't you fucking do it. Don't you dare go in there. Stay. No, 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 no. It'll be nice. That jaw was busted on that dude. Son of a bitch. I couldn't like pick it up because his the bottom of his jaw was like cracked. 
and it was like really cutting the crap out of me. Dang, dude. It's crazy. Well, Chatterbrook worked. I didn't know that. There you have it. That was probably a three pounder. Um, damn, that is such a bummer, dude. That is such a bummer. Damn it. What can you do? Well, that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. Came out here uh, and fished for about four hours. Got. Um, I caught three fish, the one you saw. The other two were kind of dinks, so I'm not really going to keep them in the video. Um, one was on a Ned rig, and then the other one was actually on a square bill crankbait. Um, I continued to reel him in, and somehow he got off. I don't know. But uh, this place is a decent little spot right here. Um, it's pretty big. It's calm, quiet night. I threw the Whopper Plopper around for a minute, which is a uh, topwater bait. See if I can get some topwater bites and... Uh, not a thing, but, um, man, I'm, I'm still heartbroken about that last catch. Uh, I mean, his jaw was just so busted. It, you know, it, it wasn't like he had super sharp lips and I was afraid to pick him up or anything. I, his bone, like, right here, like, imagine your bottom lip is a bone. It was pointed straight like that. And right there in the middle, there's a little bone sticking out. And it got me pretty good. You know, that's, that's not just normal bass thumb. That's, I mean, he got me good. Um... But in hindsight, I probably should have just grabbed him by the shoulder. I wanted to get a picture and weigh him because he was definitely a three. He's not my PB, but he was definitely a three. But, um, you know, it was a uh, pretty good day out here on the waters. My bass forecaster actually said it was a, a rating of 3.8, which is horrid. That's horrible. And uh, we still came out and caught three, so that's good. To, that's good to know. In two days on Monday, Memorial Day, it's going to be a 9.6 on the bass forecaster so you know what i'm going to be doing here in two days uh hit the thumbs up please subscribe we're at 15 fish for the year 85 more to go we got plenty of time to get it done um tune in every every day when i post a video and uh let's see how fast i can get to get to 100 so appreciate you guys and i'll see you all next time